light, what the light is like here. Saying hello today with Catherine Myers from MassMoCA, the Massachusetts Museum of Contemporary Art. And she's showing me around on the second floor right now. And uh, what installations are we looking at here? We're here we're looking at uh, more um, artists who are part of this Material World uh, exhibition. Material World is seven artists who are using these common everyday materials to transform these spaces, to create new environments using these everyday materials. So on this side is um, Tobias, I'm sorry, um, Wade Cavanaugh and Stephen Wen, um, who are two young artists who work together. And they have used paper here. Mm -hmm. um, and the paper is, um, paper is it kind of looks like, it's supposed to look like, uh, and I think it, it succeeds in looking like the um, uh, underneath of a forest. So it's uh -huh. like we're underground. So these are the roots from the tree yeah, yeah, yeah. That, um, that down sense. underground. Um, and they, uh, so it's just twisted paper, so very simple mm -hmm. material, but, mm -hmm. um, uh, but to create this really dramatic uh, underground. Yeah, very cave-like cave -like type of, yeah. And on the other side mm -hmm. uh, is work by an artist named Orly Genger. Mm -hmm. um, she has about 100 miles of rope here that wow. has been crocheted. <gasps> um, so she uses this... Um, uh, you know, rough and tough material, this uh -huh. uh, rope, uh, and then uses this very delicate craft of crocheting. D she yeah. actually did that? Yeah, so she, she does it. You're kidding it's, me. It's part of her work is the physical, physicality of, of creating it as well as the, uh, the, the end product. Now, so do you have, have any idea how long that would have taken well, her? It, I mean, she has assistants who work with her also. Um, I mean, it took a while, but not like years. No? Uh, no, no. Because, um, I mean, how many miles? 100 it's 100 miles, miles of Jeez. rope that have been crocheted. And it's crocheted. Um, Let me show you. But it's kind of like, um, wow. uh, not, to, not to say that this is easy by any stretch of the imagination, but in terms of the, uh -huh. the process of doing it, I don't know if you have ever n knit, but when I was a kid and I was just learning to knit, my mother gave me really thick yarn and really big needles, and so I was able to make something kind of quickly. Yeah. Um, so not that this didn't take a long time, but it's not like crocheting 100 yes, miles yes. with yarn. <laughs> what an idea. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and so this this work is so powerful that it's um, it's bursting right through the wall. It's I, that's what I noticed. Yeah, you can sort of see and then how it's the going through the wall. wall of rope. Yeah. What an idea. Amazing what people come up with. <laughs> can I have a peek through these doors here? There's another big exhibition space that yeah, was part not, of the factory. Um, I don't, that's not going to be showing it best because it has no lights on. Right. Um, but I just wanted to show the expansiveness yeah, of your museum. Space, yeah. yeah. Is there something in there right now? or? Yeah, well, that is the, the work. The upside down house there at the end is, oh, the, is, the, is the work the that's upside in there. Down house. We can go in there. Okay, why not? Let's have a look. Gravity is a force to be reckoned with. Right. So it's by um, mm -hmm. an artist named Inigo Manglano Olvier. Uh huh. Let's have a look. But the lights are off. In here. Okay. Yeah. No problem. But you can really feel the industrialness of this space yeah, here. Yeah, this space is great. So we yeah. we, um, we ask artists to make something for this space, mm -hmm. uh, and we ask Inigo to make this work for this space. Okay. Um, the upside down house. So it's called um, gravity the force to be reckoned with. Mm -hmm. Gravity being uh, referring to gravity the force that keeps us on the ground, but also gravity as in something being raised. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, um, as you get closer to the house, you'll see that there's this strange vignette uh, uh -huh. series of things. Okay. Telephone. And there's a phone that rings, and it leaves messages. You're kidding. So, the messages are a little mysterious. Mm-hmm. And the phone's over here. Okay, let's see it. Everyone is taking notice of the phenomenon for good reason. Think about it. Perhaps you yourself have noticed it. It's obvious, really. This business, it's all upside down. But that's not it. The thing is, it... The thing is, it works on you, no matter. Even if you don't notice it, it works on you. 
There you go. iPhone. So it appears Marlboro that someone cigarettes. Has, there's something going on here. Yes. Um, but there's some drawings and some. Mm -hmm. And this mm -hmm. coffee cup is broken. It appears that someone has left rather quickly. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and then this series of phone messages happen, which are pretty mysterious. Like yeah. you just heard that one. So uh, it seems we don't. We don't know what has happened to yes, the person who lived exactly. in this house, but, uh, but they seem to have left quickly. Um, and this house is an exact um, replica of Mies van der Rohe. Um, oh, yeah. So Mies van der Rohe designed this house. It's called the House with Four Columns. Uh, and this um, building of it is um, exactly 50%, so exactly half mm -hmm. of what he designed. But he designed it right side up. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but it was never built. It was oh, never it was built. never built. Yeah. It was oh, okay. Never built. Um, Isn't that cool? So Let me do one more thing. Sure. You keep talking. Keep talking. I just <laughs> wanted to show you a street view, because I just came from this yeah, place across the street. Yeah, the porch is in. Yes, it looks that. Uh, That's interesting. Yeah. Wash our windows a little bit. I think. <laughs> Well, that They're gives hard to, hard that yeah no that's for sure and they're um, old uh, window panes so. yeah and you can see our um, you can see there's, there's a river that separates us from the porches which uh -huh. this, um, it's flood control channel but you can understand why this uh, was a site of manufacturing that exactly. we're actually on a peninsula so there's oh, a river you? here and there's a river you can't on the other side okay. Yeah. Let's have another look. I would imagine the phone must be motion sensor controlled. When no, the phone um, is on. It just rings every five. Well, sometimes it rings in rapid succession. Sometimes uh -huh. it rings every five minutes or so. Oh. So there you can see that bridge is going across the river on the other side. Oh. So we're on this peninsula. So this yeah. was a great place for, um, for a factory to be because they exactly. use water power a lot. Isn't so this is not, yeah, this is our, our courtyard, which is not. Yeah. Uh, and here's the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cool.